Hey, what's up everybody? Imperial Ace back again with another episode of Surviving Mars. Um, I know you guys didn't get any content last week. Sorry about that. I had an unexpected trip and I didn't have any content ready to go um, while I was gone. And I was gone for most of the week, so... But we are back to our regular, regularly scheduled programming now. Um, when we last left off, well, I honestly don't remember what we were working on. Um, I know we've got colonists. I think the probation had just ended. Do we have? I think we've got some colonists on the way. Yeah, we've got some colonists on the way. So we're finally gonna, gonna get that going. That's exciting. Um, so let's pick up, let's see sector what we've got scan. going on. So we got another sector scan. Where are we at with that? Oh, that's right. Let's see. Did we pick up the research for it? No. So I want the research for autonomous sensors, but we're not quite there yet. Um, let's see. Now what about the drone hubs? We've already got that researched. I'm trying to figure out what our priorities need to be here. Unlocks new crops, cool. Drones work faster on landscaping, that's fine. I don't really care about that. Moxies are more efficient. That that could be really nice. Water reclamation would also be really nice to have, but that's a that's a spire building for the dome. I don't know if we necessarily need that yet. Um, let's see. We've got the low G high rise. Gives us more capacity for colonists. could go for the turbine stuff, but I want to wait on that until we have our our little economy on Mars up and running. So we'll go ahead, we're going to slot the research for the breakthrough, actually. I'm going to go ahead and get that started. Right now we're working on getting some more funding, which is excellent. Alright, so we'll go ahead and close that up. We'll speed things up a little bit, because we want that rocket, the rocket with all of our extra colonists here sooner rather than later. Let's see, how's our resources for this? Do you still have plenty of concrete? You got a bit. He's up there harvesting, still plenty of water there, that's good. He's still grabbing metals. Actually, let's take a quick look at that. How are the metals up where he's grabbing them? Has he gotten them all yet? No, it looks like there's still a few more up there to go. Our rocket's still inbound. Uh-oh, what is this? Two of the largest fast food chains have filed simultaneous requests to serve the colonists. Would you like diet soda with your triple burger for free? Your only obligation is to make the colonists eat and supposedly enjoy the branded meals. Interesting. Let's see. Food import costs greatly. Well, but I don't care about importing food. Free construction of food service buildings. Interesting. But we're going to go with it will always be bio and organic. Because <laughs> we don't need that fast food here. No, we really don't. We don't need to supersize our colonists. Seems like everything's good. Oh, it's coming to be nighttime, so let's go ahead and open that up. Or is it being daytime? What's going on? No, it's being nighttime. Okay. Oh no, and we're... Dang it, we're at negative one power, so I need to open up another one. Woohoo! Passengers are on their way! I can hopefully finally get this opened up. Let's see, how's our waste rock storage? It's getting a little full. Let's see about making another dumping site. That's still in range. No. Mm. 
Yeah, that'll be fine. And then we'll expand this one as well. Eventually, there are structures you can get that allow you to uh, start processing waste rock, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've gone through, but hopefully they've expanded on that a little bit. Uh, I know you can also use it for terraforming, if you need to like add to the terrain. So that could be another use that we could get for it, which would be nice. Let's go ahead. Uh oh, what's not working? Why are you not working? Oh, because you... Oh, all of our concrete is full. Okay, we need more, we need more storage for concrete. That's okay. It's a, I'm not gonna say any problem is a good problem to have, but that there definitely could be worse problems. You unload that concrete. Oh, our colonists are here. Woohoo! <laughs> right as an army of drones is going to pick up stuff from that, that figures. Alright, go ahead and offload. Wait, no. Uh. Wait, stop, stop. I don't want you loading up more. I want you unloading. There we go. Unload. Right there. Perfect. All right. Here comes the colonists. Woohoo! Sweet. All right, you come. We're going to have you transfer some waste rock once you're done offloading your concrete. Load waste rock. Unload waste rock. All right, there's our new colonists. Woohoo! Let's go ahead and yes, that's exactly what I want to see. Weirdly enough, I want to see unemployed colonists. Sweet, we got farmers. Let's go ahead, get the infirmary back online. Open up the diner. Shift some of these shifts. <laughs> but I'm ch Let's see, how many unemployed does that bring us to? Two. Excellent. Most excellent. So let those crops finish, and then we're going to actually get some soybeans in the pipeline for that one. And they will keep going with the wheat. Increase our food production a little bit. Let's see, so they're a morning shift. I'm going to actually switch them to an afternoon shift, because we don't have an afternoon shift for the farms, and those take up quite a few people. Sweet, we got repairs going there. I don't remember if the... if this dome can actually have a spire. I don't... I want to say it can't, but I'm not positive about that, actually. Sweet, he's moved most of the waste rock out of the way, which is good. We've got a security detail here, that's good. We should have enough food for all the colonists. And then the rocket's refueling. That's metals. Where's our fuel? Yeah, there's our fuel depot. Okay, don't worry about any more waste rock. Keep getting metals. Let's go. Load resources. And... Oh, 
load resources. You know what? I think I might be getting some frame stuttering. That's a little weird. That has not happened before. Can go ahead and close those up. Drone heavy load. Oh no. Not that worried about it. <sighs> Do I want the low G high rise? Yeah, we'll add it to the queue. How much money do we have? 3.8. We're about to get an influx of how much? One hundred. Or about one thousand million. But this is operating, which is great, because that's gonna start producing rare metals that we can ship off. Bring in some money. Get cash. Give it a cash. Give it a cash. Hope you guys get the reference. Some of my friends accuse me of making too many obscure movie references, and I say that is a bunch of nonsense. You can never have too many obscure movie references, ever. Just like with a spuddy, enough is never enough. Oh, any more research things to do? Not really. Once we get the autonomous sensor, that'll make it a little bit easier, because then I can slap a few down over here, and a few up here. Now, getting up to these areas is going to be interesting. I think you can build a tunnel that'll allow you to, like, kind of have a shortcut. But I can't remember. I, I don't remember if you have to have drones at both sides or not. So we're going to have to see. That could be a use for our waste rock, though, is just make a giant ramp up and down, although that would take... A while, along with a lot of waste rock. All right. Well, we should probably build. Oop! Oh, is that the first person born on? Yep, first person born on Mars. Screw you, India. That sucks. All right, we're probably gonna want a nursery and a playground. What do we have for housing situation here? Can I build? Would it make sense to build more housing? So that gives four. What does the dome have currently? So it's got four open. So if I build another living complex, that'll give me 18. Hmm. What will it take to get the low G high rise? The problem is our research takes absolutely forever because we don't have a ton coming in. What would it cost us to... So we could do 5,000 for another... Mm, I don't know if I want to do that though. Although we are gonna have, now that we've got rare metal production going, yeah, it'd probably be worth it. As much as I hate doing it, it's probably worth it. But we are going to... We're going to shuffle these around a little bit. So we're going to have... 
the Logi high rise first, and then we'll have the autonomous sensors where they go. Where'd the autonomous sensors go? There we go. And then the breakthrough. Yeah, I know I failed the milestone. Thanks for reminding me. Because the Logi high rise, if I remember correctly, I think it has like 24 people it can house. Um, which, oh, do you not have. Stop that shift. If you don't have people for the shift, don't have the shift. Okay, now let's see. So that's our diner, our space bar, and our grocer. Uh, let's actually flip that. Hopefully they'll shuffle somebody over there. It's a little bit weird that they haven't. All right, we are in need of some more people. That's what I have decided. That is still refueling. Hmm. Let's see, can you get can you move to a position to help refuel a little bit faster? Did that put it in your range? It did. Okay, cool. Hopefully they will scramble to help get more fuel on that, because I want more colonists. Sector scanned. What are we at? Ooh, 110 above ground metal. I will take that. Yeah, I know the grocer isn't working right now. It's a little irritating, but it is what it is. Um, do I have births? I do have births allowed. But the comfort is too low, so. <sighs> Which sucks. I need to increase their comfort. And that's one of the things about these buildings is the comfort is higher. Comfort of residence, 50. Comfort of residence, 50. The infirmary increases comfort, but it's just of the dome that they're in. Hmm. What is the overall comfort of this dome? Does it tell me? For threshold 70 and they're at 50. forget do the decorative the decorative structures may increase it they do they do increase comfort so let's go ahead since we can't build anything there anyway build a small garden see if that boosts up the comfort level of the dome a little bit we'll need a nursery as well but right now we don't really have anyone to work in the nursery Here's what we're gonna do. For the moment, we're gonna power down the grocer. Open up a third shift there. Hopefully. Oh, because they're not working in their home dome, it does have a, a negative impact. Hmm. Okay. All right. I see how it is. I see what's going on here. Well, crap. So. Yeah, I guess that is the benefit of the the much bigger domes. Are you refueled yet? Oh, almost. Cool. Oh, uh, we need our... We need power? Although, actually, it just came to daytime, so... We should be generating more than enough. So that will slowly be recharging. So we're generating 12 right now. Rocket is ready for launch. Yeah, I know there's inactive work shifts. Not a whole lot I can do about that right now. Oh man, that thing needs maintenance fast. Holy cow. Or is it just because it's been built for so long? It might just be because it was built for so long. But dang. 
Dag and nabbit. I'm gonna move that to high priority because I want to make sure this thing is always operational. It needs to be our fully operational mining station. Okay. We need more colonists. We need more people. Do I want to wa launch you? Well, I guess what we could do is it, it'll take a while for the other rocket to get here anyway. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll go passenger rocket. <laughs> Vegan, don't worry. They'll tell you. <laughs> Let's play find the Vegan. You know, that is so rude. It's not like vegans will automatically come telling you just out of the blue that they're a vegan or not. It's such a stereotype. Found the vegan. Okay, do I want to choose my own people or do I want to just ship out the ones that they've selected? We'll choose our own people. Let's filter them too. Okay, so we've got all flaws. Is that what I'm reading right? We've got all flaws filtered out. Cool, okay. Um, we could bring in people with no specialization. Bring in a few scientists. We'll bring in a couple botanists and officers as well. Medic, engineer, and a scientist. Oh, that's 13 out of 12. Let's remove one of our no specialization people. Launch! Launch anyway. I'll build them more residences. I wanted to wait, but I don't think the research is going to finish in time. Where are we at? Ah! You know what? I wish there was a way to but just drag and drop. So we'll go that first, and then dink and dink. So low G high rise is coming up quick. Hopefully it'll get done before the colonists get here. It won't increase the overall comfort of the dome, but we gotta work with what we got. Speaking of which, how is everybody? Did the park make you happy? You're not happy with the park? Oh, there's crowdfunding is done. Nice. So we should be back up. Yeah, 3.8. Is that a repeatable research? I don't think it is, is it? No, it's not. It'd be nice if it was. But we'll work with what we've got. How you doing? Still trucking? Good, good, good. Looks like everything's good there. I gotta figure out what else I could do to raise the comfort of this dome. Because that has an overall service comfort, which is fine. Are there any structures? I wonder, the surface comfort can't just affect the dome that it's in, can it? Colonists live in blah 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 blah, yeah, I know. Hmm. Where's my menu for that? No, that's the main menu, that's not what I want. Where is, I know there's a Mission profile, that's not what I want. Planetary view? Ah, uh, yes, the other colonies. Colonists, here we go. 
Um, no, that's just an overall list of colonists. That's not what I want. Domes. So this is our primary dome. Let's see. The average comfort is too low. How... What is the best way to bring that up? Do I have to... What do I have to do? Because I was hoping, like, just having the buildings and stuff for them to visit will raise the overall comfort. But I don't know if that's the case. Okay, they're still growing the soybeans. Our food is still looking good. Oh, they're not at full. They aren't at full capacity. They are not fully operational. It's their battle station. That's still researching. Hopefully we'll get another interesting... Increases sponsor research by 100. Well, that's not a lot. <laughs> I kind of would want more than that. But we'll work with what we got. All right, well, as we've got those colonists coming in, I think this is a good place to call it. I'm going to see about making these episodes a little bit shorter, just so that it's a little bit more manageable to watch them. Um, if you guys like the longer format, definitely comment down below. Let me know if you want me to keep it at the, the longer time, but otherwise I'm probably going to keep it, try to keep it under half an hour going forward. Um, so if you did like it, throw a like down below, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you've got any comments and you think... Well, if you think I'm going to die, and that all of my colonists will die a horrible death, stranded on Mars, millions of miles from their loved ones, then you could comment that. Happy thoughts are appreciated, too, though. Alright, well, stay tuned. I will have more content coming out regularly, um, and hopefully everything will continue to go well. But yeah, I think that about covers it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ace out.